What's up, y'all? It's your boy Gully. Just wanted to give y'all a quick update of the Cutlass, but I'm for real make it quick because it's cold as hell out here. All right, so real quick. So when I first got the car, I did have like a, a real slow leak coming from the transmission uh, pan gasket. Um, and it was one of those days where I had to kind of get around to doing it. Shortly after that, I started having issues with the transmission making a whining noise. And not so long after that, I had problems with the trans actually slipping and having issues like going in and out of gear. So I get on the internet, of course, do a little bit of research and everybody was pretty much saying that it's probably the filter. So I went on Jags, got the little cheap kit that comes with the filter, the gasket, um, and the trans fluid. Swapped everything out, everything started running fine. Shifts in and out of gear, perfect. Shifting perfect, all that good shit. But it came with a little cheap, thin uh, rubber gasket. And I did notice that when I took the pant off, that it wasn't in the best shape. It was kind of warped and a little beat up, whatever. So I kind of had a feeling that it was gonna start leaking again, but I didn't want to go buy a new pan and the issue with the trans slipping and all that good shit was actually, you know, a bigger problem and that maybe I had to get the trans rebuilt. So I wanted to make sure that the filter actually solved the problem. So that's one of the first things that I'm gonna have to do once it warms up outside is swap the the gasket out i probably do like the cork gasket if anybody have any other suggestions let me know but from what i'm hearing that the cork gasket is a little bit more forgiving so i'm gonna get that i'm gonna just get a whole new pan the other thing i gotta look into is that i got like a small leak coming from the gas tank somewhere now the previous owner did put uh, an electric pump on this car so it's possible that something that they did they just you know it's loose or whatever but I'm probably gonna have to drop the tank to even figure that out I gotta get some wheels and tires because the ones that's on here is dry rotted and of course it's not really the look that I'm going for I'm not putting like 24s and 26s and no shit like that on here I kind of want like some real nice rallies or uh, maybe some torque thrust uh, rims of course it's, it's cold as shit so it's not really much I could do out here. Um, right now, I gotta wait until it warm up. And it is March, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll get some warm weather. But yeah, Damn, I really need to see if my Harley is gonna start up because my dumbass had it on a tender, but I took it off to start the snowblower up, and I never put it back on. So we should probably try that now. <laughs> Well, I guess that's a no. So I'm gonna put it back on the charger and uh, see if that fix it. Man, it don't make no sense that it's just damn cold outside. It's March, so like I said, it, it should warm up in the next couple of weeks, but whatever. Anyway, so real quick, of course I've gotten into this whole cinematography thing or whatever, and I wanna take it to, I wanna take it as far as I possibly can. You know, maybe do, short documentaries or whatever like here in detroit we got a lot of culture we got a lot of history here you know like the car scene is crazy the bike scene is crazy so i'm thinking about doing like shooting stuff throughout the summertime and dropping like a whole like short film um at the end of the year basically so we'll see but with that being said i feel like being in the whole like cinematography thing you easily fall into photography because it's they're kind of one and the same it's very it's very close so I've actually kind of fell into that world a little bit I actually went out and got the famous uh, Canon 50 mil um, and I shot a couple pictures with it as soon as I got it um, I throw one up and so I think that might be something that I'm kind of gonna get into 
you know, just shoot some pictures or whatever. It'll probably be more so cars and, and, and street photography, but if y'all wanna see my journey with photography, make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram. Gotta check that out. I had a couple shots on there, but I haven't really been able to do much because I, I literally just got the lens. What was it, like last week or something like that? So make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.